The formula f equals w times the integral from c to d, h of y times l of y dy, is the formula that we would use for calculating fluid force on a submerged object. A rectangular plate 3 feet by 6 feet is submerged in a pool with a depth of 10 feet and is oriented so that it rests on its short side. Find the fluid force acting on one side of the plate. So we have a pool with a depth of 10 feet. So the floor of the pool is 10 feet below the surface of the water. We have a plate that is 3 feet by 6 feet resting on its short side, so on the 3 foot side. So it might be resting here on the floor, oriented in this place here, and it would look something like this, 3 by 6 rectangle. And we might establish some axes so that we can take advantage of the xy orientation to fill in our formula. So let's say that we make the left edge of the rectangle be the y-axis, and then the surface of the water could be the x-axis. So now let's take apart our formula a bit here. W represents the weight density of water in this case. So we would use 62.4 pounds per cubic foot since our plate dimensions are given to us in feet h of y would represent the depth of some representative rectangle that we would draw on our plate. Now in this case, and this will almost always be the case, since our rectangle resides below the x-axis, that depth of that rectangle in terms of y would be expressed as negative y. L of y would be then the length of the rectangle expressed in terms of y. Now in this case, our rectangle has a constant length from top to bottom. So it's not changing, it's constant. So it's going to be three feet top to bottom. But sometimes we might have a plate that has a different shape to it, like a triangle or a trapezoid. And then therefore its length would be variable. So we would have to express that length as a function of y. D represents the position or the depth of the top of the plate. So in this case, that depth is going to be minus 4 since it's 6 feet tall and the depth of the pool is 10 feet. And C then, the bottom, is going to be negative 10. So D is negative 4, and C would be negative 10. So now, we can fill in the parts of our formula. So we have F equals 62.4 times the integral from minus 10 to minus 4, H of y, well, we've decided that that's 
minus y, L of y, which in this case is constant at 3, dy. So now we can evaluate this integral. So we have f equals 62.4 minus 3 over 2 y squared evaluated from minus 10 to minus 4. So we have f equals 62.4 minus 3 halves times minus 4 squared minus negative 3 halves times minus 10 squared. So we have 62.4 times minus 24 plus 150. So this is then going to give us 7862.4 pounds of force exerted on the face of that plate.